Howdy folks, name's Levi, and I'm going to show you how to process whole leaf tobacco, and uh, this is very easy to do, all you're going to need is your tobacco, and the goal is to remove the mid stem and shred it, so let me get a leaf here. What you do is, you know, some of these leaves are kind of damaged, but you get your leaf, you spread it out, and the goal here is, okay, this one's kind of in bad shape, but to remove this here mid-stem, and then shred it. I find that when you're pulling it off the stem, you should start at the tip of the leaf and move back, like so. mighty easy to do. Uh, this is uh, Golden Virginia. Blue cured. And makes for a pretty awesome smoke. So, got the uh, mid stem removed. Put that aside. Now there's a couple ways now that you've got it off the stem that you can shred it. You can get the leaf, you know, rolled up like this and just get a cigar cutter or a pair of scissors and just carefully, you know, if you're doing it one cigarette then, you know, it's no no big deal. clip the stuff and it makes a uh, pretty fine shag perfect for rolling cigarettes like that it'll end up let me just put this right here for now you'll end up with something like this all you gotta do is break it off a little bit And you'll have a uh, pretty fine cigarette tobacco. That's pretty decent cut. This method produces the best cut of tobacco. Oh, but you can also do it with scissors. This is just fun because you can go and get all snippy with it. Another good method is to take your leaf. Let me get that same piece. And get nice sharp kitchen knife and you just cut thin slices of course you'd want to do this with a uh, bigger block but the goal is to get them thin about a millimeter in size like that Okay, that's about enough for a couple cigarettes. Maybe a big bowl of uh, tobacco out of a pipe. Got this uh, Missouri Meerschaum uh, MacArthur. It's a freaking huge bowl. You can fit like two hours worth of tobacco in there if you're really slow smoker you could probably stoke the thing for five hours so pull it out and break it up so that gives you you know a smokable product as you can see the one I did with the cigar cutter is much finer a lot like uh, commercial cigarette tobacco, but this is kind of ribbon cut, more like pipe tobacco. So I'm going to go ahead and smoke some of this and uh, tell you about the flavor. Alright guys, so we're out here with some of that Virginia I just shredded in top papers. Those are my favorite. 
because they come out like a little booklet. You get a hundred of them. They're better than zigzags. Um, they're thinner than bugler papers, which is you know really good because bugler papers uh, they're really thick and you can taste them and they're kind of heavy on the chalk. So we're just gonna blaze this one up. Um, so Virginia tobacco. Very smooth flavor. Just sitting on a pretty rickety bar stool right here. Um, but it does the job. So this is pretty slow burning. Let me just uh, ash this and then get the cherry into where you can see it but it's pretty slow burning compared to a uh, camel but check out how fast that burns so one drag took it down about a few millimeters so it's it's pretty light um, and uh, how it hits the throat. It's more like American spirit. But the beauty of this is that it doesn't cost you like seven to ten dollars an ounce or if you live in New York um, where they just tax the crap out of uh, tobacco where I think it uh, costs, uh, let's see, my buddy lives in New York and he said it costed uh, 15 bucks over there for a uh, pouch of American spirit at the smoke shop. Isn't that just horrible? But this is way cheaper. Because um, for 15 bucks you get a pound, uh, give or take, you know, a few ounces due to the stems and mid ribs. But that's still a very good deal. Very effective. Uh, cost you know. so that's that's pretty good I uh, strongly recommend this it's not as harsh as the Kentucky Burley sold on this website but it's uh, it's it's kind of milder and sweeter and tastes a lot like an American spirit because they use a hundred percent Virginia flu cured as far as I know Just a little note um, is that you should probably uh, carry an ashtray with you if you're smoking filters, unless they're cotton, because the filters don't biodegrade. My girlfriend gave me this cigarette tin right here for a butts and ash, so I can just pop my Freddies in there and I won't have to worry about uh, whether the filter's going to break down or not. Of course, cotton will, but not a, uh, not the ones you buy that are like top brand or premier, menthol or whatever. But uh, raw makes a uh, cotton filter that's that's very effective. The draw's a bit stiff, but they uh, they absorb more tar um, because cotton is more absorbent than plastic. And they're kind of uh, kind of neat to uh, know that your cigarette filters, you know, will actually biodegrade if you can just toss them into the brush and you don't want to carry a uh, case with you. But this is pretty cool. It's got little 1911 Colts on it, little 45s. So that's that's kind of a neat gift she gave me. So. There you have it. It's a uh, great cigarette, great uh, tobacco. You can also make snuff, pipe tobacco, uh, dip, I think, um, chew. Let's see, I've made chew out of burley. Uh,
the red tips um, sold on the website also are great for making snuff because they're stronger but if you make a cigarette out of uh, burly or red tips your face will blow off it's so strong feels kind of like a few beers except your judgment doesn't go but if you blend it with Virginia say 25 percent burly and 75 percent Virginia you got a pretty good mixture there that's um, that's lighter and less psychoactive so there you have it um, thank you for watching and uh, take care